Sioux College has had a very long relationship with 7th Gen. Uh, going back at least a decade, I've been president at Sioux College for 13 years. In partnership with 7th Gen, we've offered a variety of certificates uh, and two-year diplomas. We've offered certificates in initial one uh, language in human resources, and in terms of the uh, diplomas, we've offered a diverse number amount of diplomas in, in uh, uh, diplomas in business and child and youth studies, um, welding, uh, forestry technician programs. So we, we have a long-standing relationship uh, with 7th Gen. And I'm in the esthetician program. The esthetician program. The esthetician program. Game arts program. The video game art program. The welding techniques program. The video game arts program. What we are able to offer here are Sioux College courses and programs uh, taught locally with local instructors and in a physical uh, location that uh, means the students don't have to go either away from home or access the programs through distance education. That we're able to give them um, a learning experience that uh, hopefully um, is a little bit more in tune to their uh, to their ways of knowing and ways of learning, uh, but still offering um, a certificate, a college certificate from Sioux College, which is uh, uh, very advantageous for our students. Students leave here, they're ready to work. When, at the end of, of our cohort, when these guys have uh, went through and done everything that they have to do, they do their testing, um, a CWB comes in and they do the testing with them, they're ready to work. They, they can get a job and they can go to work and, so, and they can start doing what they need to do. Um, so being able to do services out within the community, um, making, doing, um, going, going out with our program, we can go out within the community and do some like health care with them and do some skin care and nails. Just make everybody feel good about themselves. I would say just how hands-on it is. Learning, like learning learning all the theory you need to learn but also being hands-on and learning the program it's not just like learning from a book you get to learn from doing stuff on clients as well as learning with each other and it's all hands-on seven generations we came into being in 1985 as uh, and we're governed by the 10 first nation communities that immediately surround fort francis and the treaty three territory so the board of directors are sets our agenda this they, they our institution. Uh, when we talk about it, the institution being Indigenous friendly, what we're talking about is, and it's very hard to quantify, and it's very hard to put it on exactly what it is, but it's an atmosphere that we attempt to create. We have a round room that's there for students to come and to, to visit our drum package away. His home is there in that round room. The students can feel free to go in there and sit with the drum offer tobacco and just be in that kind of spiritual presence if they choose to. Not all students will, but many will. Um, but if they choose to be a part of that. In addition to that, we try to be as understanding on the unique needs of our students that they may not necessarily have in a mainstream context. One example I might mention is uh, going back a couple of years ago in our welding program, I had a student that came to me who was going to have to miss a midterm on, on the day it was scheduled because that student had to return to the community to participate in the moose hunt, uh, which, you know, to some may mean that that's a kind of a vacation, the guy's going off to hunt moose and, and, and there's that perspective. But in actual fact, this is a, was a student from a rather remote community, probably about three hours away from Fort Francis, and that hunting that moose, getting that moose, meant food in the refrigerator uh, for that winter. And so when I talk about being Indigenous friendly, that's the kind of understanding that we bring to education and working with our learners. In a lot of cases in a mainstream institute, that might not have been a request that was accommodated. Sorry, the exam is on the exam day, thou shalt not miss it. Uh, but that's not the way we approach it. We really try to say, okay, well, what does this mean to the students? And how can we support the student in their learning and still make sure that they're able to fully participate in their culture? So that's kind of, if that helps make sense when I talk about it being Indigenous friendly, it's that kind of understanding, that's what we bring to the table that they might not otherwise have in a mainstream institution. I think the most surprising thing that students will find when they go to seventh generation 
uh, programs is the family spirit. People care about them and there is a high level of student support because they will receive support so that they succeed. And I think that'll come as a surprise to them, but they will get support and they will succeed.